So, as you can see from my resume, I've been doing security for a long time now, Mr. Van Cleef. Well, I have to say, I am impressed, Brandon. It seems that you've got the experience that we've been looking for. In 25 years, I have never had to hire a bodyguard, even though I've made plenty of money. But now, since Tyra's becoming more famous on social media, I figured it's time. You're absolutely right. It's a crazy world, so you can't be too careful, especially with how popular Tyra's becoming. I follow you on Instagram. Big fan. Oh, um, thanks. Well, look, everything looks great. I'd love for you to start right away if you are available. Uh, Jack, honey, can we talk for a second? Yeah, what's up? Alone? Of course. Give us a second, Brad. No problem at all. Um, don't you think we're moving a little fast? How so? He's a former Marine. 15 years of executive protection. That's a license to carry a firearm. It's exactly what we've been looking for. I know, but something just seems off about him. It felt like he was checking me out. And besides, I thought you wanted to go with someone, I don't know, a little older. Is that what's bothering you? That he's young and attractive? <laughs> I figure I'd give you a nice break from having to look at me all day. What are you talking about? I could never get tired looking at you. You're my teddy bear. I knew you were out of my league from the moment I married you. Somehow I just got all old and gray and look at you. You've just become more and more beautiful. Stop. You've got this George Clooney look going, and I like it. Mm. You know, now you're just being nice. Mm. Sure, you've got a bevy of young, attractive men all in your, what do you call them? Descends? DMs? <laughs> oh, DMs? Mm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Oh, you've probably been wondering why you've been with an old geezer like me while wishing that you were with another guy. No, Jack, not at all. I only want to be with you. And I hope you trust that. Because if we don't have trust, then we don't have anything, right? And to your point, if we have trust, then there's nothing to worry about in hiring Brandon, is there? <sighs> Let's not keep him waiting. I don't know about this tie anymore. When did I start looking so old? What are you talking about, honey? You look great. No, I don't. My skin is all wrinkly and my hair has gotten all gray. I mean, I used to be fit. Now I've just completely let myself go. I want to change out this tie. Do you mind getting that? It's probably Brandon. I'm having him drive for us tonight. Cheers, sweetheart. And don't be so hard on yourself. You look great. Hey, Brandon, thanks for coming. Of course. Wow, well, I must say, you look really beautiful, Tyra. I prefer you call me Mrs. Van Cleef. Of course. My apologies, Well, You look really beautiful, Mrs. Van Cleef. Thanks, but I also prefer for you not to comment on my looks, if you don't mind. Of course. My apologies. I appreciate it. Well, make yourself at home. We're getting ready to head out. Can I get you anything? Something to drink, perhaps? Water, juice? Uh, do you have any tequila? <laughs> Good one. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, wait. Your dress uh, is not zipped up all the way. Oh, 
That's okay. My husband will help me out. Oh, no, no, no. I got it. It'll be just it's... one. It'll, it'll, it'll just be just one second. Jack should be here any moment, so if you could hurry it up. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. This is not appropriate. What do you mean? I'm just smelling your perfume and fixing your dress. Well, it makes me feel uncomfortable. So if you're going to work for us, Brandon, then I need for you not to compliment my looks, not to try to get close to me, and not look at me like that. How am I looking at you? Like that. I don't like it, so stop. OK, let's just cut to the chase. You're not with Jack because you love him. You all know how this goes. Young, attractive woman like yourself, they know geezer like him, you're only with him because of the money. Now you should be with a man like me. What? N no, you're completely wrong. I love Jack, and I would never do anything to hurt him. I've heard enough, Brandon. I need you to leave. Leave, but I thought you wanted me to drive you. All right, let's just pretend like none of this happened, okay? And your husband, he doesn't need to know. This is not up for discussion. You're fired. And I need you to leave right now. Are you serious? Go. Okay. What do you think of this tie? Honey, what's wrong? I just fired the bodyguard. He tried to come on to me. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I told you something was off about him. It's OK. I mean, I'm sure young men are trying to come on to you all the time. No. They don't. And if they did, I would tell you. Why do you keep saying stuff like that? Jack? Talk to me. It's nothing. Something's up. What's going on? I made a huge mistake, Tyra. And I feel terrible. You see, lately I have been feeling so insecure about myself. My looks and my body, they haven't been the same. And I haven't felt confident at all. And what makes it harder is that I know you're surrounded by men who find you attractive. And I've been so worried that you would leave me for one of them and forget all about me. So I did something I shouldn't have. I found an attractive actor online to come over and assume the role of a bodyguard just to see how you would respond. So you see, Brandon isn't security. He's an actor. And the only reason he tried to come on to you is because I asked him to. I wanted to see if you were going to cheat on me. You gotta be kidding me. So this was all some sort of test? How could you do something like that? I know, Tyra. I am so, so sorry. And this is killing me inside. I, I thought that you were going to break my trust. But I let my own insecurity break it instead. Hey, it's OK. I mean, what you did? 
wasn't fine, but I hope it goes to show you that you're the only man I'd ever want to be with. You have nothing to worry about. Okay? Okay. I now know that if we don't have trust, we don't have anything. Thank you for reminding me. I need for you to be honest about one more thing. Does this tie work well with this suit? Yes. And so did the first one. And all the other ones you probably tried on while I wasn't there. Now stop being so insecure and be more confident. After all, you're Mr. Van Cleef. My husband. And I am so proud to be with you. Thanks. Should I get someone to drive this? No, okay. no. Okay. I'll drive. All right. I can't take any more stress. All right. 